Hello, I'm Pastor Dave, and this is your sermon recap for Monday, March 4th, 2024. Here we go. Our passage this week was Daniel chapter 7, verses 2 through 8, and 17 and 18. And in this passage, God gives Daniel a dream about the future of the world. Now, this week marked our first entrance into the second half of Daniel, which does not contain any of the familiar stories. And actually, it's more prophetic and apocalyptic. And this is one of the books of the apocalypse of the Bible. Now, this becomes obvious because of the dream that Daniel had here in chapter 7. And in this dream and his interpretation, Daniel is describing how nations come and go across history. That is, on the surface, what God is telling Daniel. And given that this is happening during the reign of King Belshazzar, this may be the source of the wisdom Daniel had to interpret the writing on the wall we dealt with last week. But we can get lost in the imagery of what Daniel is describing. And this happens for a specific reason. Daniel is describing the indescribable. Humans always have trouble describing the ways of God in human terms. And that's why we get a lot of this imagery that becomes very symbolic. And the use of imagery helps us understand God's plan. And this is because there is a limit to what we can fully understand about God. But also, it's because God's message for humanity is timeless. And sometimes the imagery helps us understand what God means because we can see ourselves better in this. I mean, an example of this would be trying to get the Founding Fathers to understand modern communications. We can't just give them a smartphone and say, figure it out. They would have a hard time understanding that, but if it's more symbolic, if it's, if it's more metaphorical with more allegories, it can work better. And that's the important part of this prophecy, because prophetic messages have meanings for the original recipients, a meaning for us today, and will have a meaning for those still to come. That's one of the timeless beauties of these prophetic words is, yes, for those in exile, it had a specific meaning. It also had a specific meaning for the Jewish people suffering under the Greek persecution. But it also means something for us today whether both in the United States and across the globe, but also for people who are not yet born. And this does remind us about how truly timeless God's message is. For in this dream, we know that just as the old kingdoms came and went, so too will the nations today. And this is not just a prophetic political warning, but just all the problems we have today will also fade away. And if we want to look for a single starting point in all of this, this is a simple reminder that the everything on earth is temporary and will fade away, but God is eternal. So that's your recap for this week. Remember, we worship every Saturday night at 6.30, Sunday morning at 10.45, and we live stream the 1045 service on the WSUMC Live Facebook page. But until next time, I'm Pastor Dave, and I hope to see you in worship.